here come Melbourne Victory in their change strip tonight. But again, uh, Dulewski is off radar. Thiago Calvano trying to prod it through for Joel Griffiths. Victory quickly back on the ball. It's Mark Milligan trying to turn it out towards Connor Payne. Well controlled by Triantis, but then he gives it away. Thompson with the outside of the boot. This looks promising for Connor Payne across the face. And Melbourne Victory have scored in the opening moments. It is Mark Milligan against his old club. Quite incredible. His eighth of the season. The cove behind him is stunned. It's a brilliant start for Melbourne Victory. Their tempo from the kickoff has been a buzzing start by the visitors, and they've been rewarded early. Well, how much will well, credit to to Connor Payne for the delivery and the pass from Archie Thompson? Western Sydney Wanderers away and Brisbane away to come for Frank Farina's side. His old club, of course, Brisbane Raw. And if they lose this, Harps, you'd fancy, really, they'd have to take all six from those last two to make the finals. Anyway, long way to go in this game, and Del Piero trying to turn away. Appeals for handball, not given, and it's across the face of goal by Joel Griffiths. And Del Piero continues his protest towards the referee's assistant on the near touchline. Let's have another look at it, Andy. Yeah, handball. Oh, it's handball. Clear handball. Yeah. Goodness me. The Oscars missed that one. Badly. Sydney pressing high, trying to win possession in Melbourne's half and playing from there. Victory steadfastly keeping to quick movement of the ball, one two touch. Antonis trying to burst through midfield, he's done so successfully. It's Terry Antonis. Can he find the room for the shot? And eventually, there were just too many numbers around. Him. Oh, handball! Penalty for Sydney. Strebre Dolovsky had eagle eyes and spotted that one. Terry Antonis gets the credit for a mazy dribble. He couldn't quite get the shot away, but he has earned the penalty kick, and Sydney have the opportunity now to draw level. Well, really determined play from Antonis. 19 years of age and 38 A-League games. Dolovsky doesn't miss this one. Dylan Lenane. His hand was in the way. Del Piero to the spot. Well, an unfortunate moment for the youngster. Came at him pretty quickly in truth. Responsibility now for the victory falls on Nathan Coe and for Sydney for Alessandro Del Piero. And Del Piero has his kick saved. Really good stop by Nathan Coe at full stretch away to his right. And Melbourne victory's lead is protected for now at least. Del Piero denied. High drama at Allianz Stadium. Del Piero's corner kick is headed over the top by Joel Griffiths. Incredible, Andy. Well, if you want to see the unbelievable, watch the A-League. I think that's the... Uh, look, I don't know. I don't reckon that's as much is of that a penalty. I don't reckon it's as much of a penalty as the first half one. That's a good save, not a great penalty. But he had to get down low and palm it away in a reprieve from Melbourne victory. And Tonus forced the issue. I think a fortunate penalty, really. But it's all square on that count because there was definitely a penalty. Should have been against Broxham in the first half. That's a bit of respite for Sydney FC. I'd suggest. What about that for a ball from Terry Antonis? And here goes the speech to Joel Kianese. Plenty in the box to aim for. Tries to put it across the face for Del Piero. Broxham stuck out of boots, still with Kianese. Another corner for Sydney FC. And another example of how well Melbourne Victory are defending their penalty area because again Sydney have turned them around. And they're just sticking a boot in. They're stretching, throwing a body, getting a tackle in, shepherding danger away. What a baptism. <laughs> Welcome to the A-League, Dylan. Good grief. He's going to be dizzy tomorrow morning, I think. Here's the latest corner by Del Piero. Flicked up by Grant, and it's in by Yaro Yao. And Sydney are level at last. Finally, the sheer mountain of corners has paid off for the score.
Sky Blues. And what an important goal in the context of Sydney season that could be. I was waiting for the volcano to go off. It was a very muted celebration by Yara Yao. I'm not sure if it was intended to be a flick on by Ryan Grant. I reckon he's trying to go for goal himself. Fair enough. And it's a tap in for the Panamanian. And Sydney will get what they believe they've deserved. And it sets up the final five plus injury time.